Hi, I'm Nella Neek here with Executive Chef Russell Ferguson. We're here to entice you to try some of our favorite recipes from the summer issue of Menu Magazine. Now, fruits and vegetables are really easy to cook on the grill. And since you already have the grill fired up, ready to cook your protein, why not prepare the whole meal outdoors? So, we picked some rather unusual ideas, we think, right. to show you from this issue, starting with grilled corn in the cob. And everyone has their favorite way to cook corn. Why do we love grilling corn? Uh, grilling always imparts a somewhat smoky flavor, whether you're using charcoal or gas. We're going to use a gas grill for all of our recipes today. Mm -hmm. um, and the one thing everybody wants to remember is, for every recipe, we're recommending that you preheat your grill on high for 10 minutes, and then we'll... We'll, we'll change the temperature on the grill depending on the As recipe. Needed. Yeah, so we'll get started with the corn right now. So I'm going to lift the lid on our gas grill. Okay. Okay. I've got uh, four ears of uh, fresh corn. Uh, and the key to grilling is simplicity. Mm -hmm. um, every recipe we have today is going to be very, very simple, very easy to pull off, whether you're actually grilling in your backyard or you're at a park or at the beach. Um, so I just have four ears of corn. And we don't have husks or silts on these, so we want to keep these moist. And how are you going to do that? Uh, well, we're going to cover it with basting oil. And I've got about two oh. tablespoons of basting oil for the four ears of corn. And I'm just going to drizzle it liberally, okay, over mm -hmm. all of the ears. Um, Looks good. Yeah, and, and don't be afraid to get your hands a little bit dirty. Uh, one thing you want to keep in mind when you're grilling is, is certainly food safety. Um, you're not always going to be in an area where you have an opportunity to wash your hands with soap and water. So you want to make sure that you've got some clean utensils, um, some paper towels, perhaps a kitchen towel. What I like to keep around uh, is a little bit of hand sanitizer as well, mm -hmm. just to make sure we're, we're being safe. Okay. That's all I'm going to do with it right now. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to take it right. right over to the grill. Okay. On the hottest part of the grill? On the hottest part of the grill. We, we've turned it down to medium high after preheating it. Um, again, what we're going to have to be mindful of is we're going to have to move this corn. It's going to take about eight or ten minutes to cook. Good. Okay. Um, but you don't have to play with it too much. Um, you can leave the you can leave the grill right open. Okay, and all you want to do is make sure you've got a set of clean tongs around, okay. but you don't want to fuss with it too much. You want, right. to, you want to let the grill do the work for a little bit, go ahead and give it a turn, and then in 8 to 10 minutes, you're going to have some beautifully cooked corn, and we'll be back in a minute to show you what it looks like. Great. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes, and I feel confident that our corn is ready, so we're just going to take it off the grill, put it on our clean serving platter, season it with a little bit of sea salt, and we're all set. Let's do it. Okay, you can see we've got some good color. Kernels are a little bit softer, um, and the caramelization is, is all over the corn. So you see it on top. And that's it. And we didn't have to mess with it too much. You know, we opened the grill a couple times just to make sure we were keeping it moving. It looks good to me. Oh, it's great. I'm it's ready, ready to, to try go. it. Okay, in less than 10 minutes, we have sweet, succulent little kernels with every bite, a little bit of seasoning and salt, and we're ready to eat. And that's it. Try it our way. Let us know what you think.